Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I have a couple books here. And they all have, like, various pictures inside of them. So I thought it might be fun to kind of flip through and look at the different photos. Maybe do some camera sounds and whatnot. But we need to start with the cookies. Literally a book about cookies. I love sweets. This is like the best. Okay, we've got like a whole basket. Look at that. Don't those look great? <laughs> These are carrot raisin drops. I'm not sure that's really my flavor. <laughs> not really a raisin person. Here we go. Look at these. Yeah. Little triangle things. I'll try to get some camera movement and camera sounds. Let's see. Coffee pecan triangles. You might make you guys hungry. <laughs> okay. Let's go flipping through. Got cut out cookies, gingerbreads. Mm. This one. Got hearts. And stars. Sandwich rings. Jelly in the middle. I can learn about walnuts. Snowflakes. Just look delicious. Here we got some raspberry pinky. here and peppermint here. Those look great. Oops. Ooh. Look at these. Marshmallow sandwich cookies. into the dough. What else? Special cookies. Whoa, look at these. Chocolate dipped mushrooms. So good. This looks like they're made of meringue. White chocolate. And conch. Ooh, triple chocolate.
fruit cookies, crop cookies. So that's one of my favorite books. Just to look at. Of these we've got fish, fish, fishes, insects, and mammals. Alright, let's start with the fish. How do you use this book? Oh wow. Major groups of fishes. Seahorses, trout, salmon. Here we go. Sharks and rays, a family tree. Okay, let's see. Tiger shark, whale shark. We've got soup fin shark, fresher shark, great white, hammerhead. Brown shark over there, okay. The dogfish shark is closer to raised. Guitar fish. I wonder why it's called a guitar fish. Sawfish. Barn door skate. Torpedo ray. That sounds fun. Stingaree. Stingaree. A butterfly ray and a devil ray. Those are very cool. Some sharks. There's the devil one. So they talk about all the different kinds of rays. Sawfish. Anchovies. Some people like anchovies on like salads and stuff. Not me. Not me. <laughs> um, let's see, eel. The American eel. And the conger eel. Flathead catfish, the blue catfish, stone cat, channel catfish, this marine catfish, a sea catfish. Oh, here we go. We have the difference between a mouthful of eggs and a mouthful of young. Do they carry their the male carries the fertilized eggs in his mouth for about two months, going without food until well after they hatch, as the young continue to stay in his curious in this curious nest. What? Not eating for two months while little babies hang out in your mouth? That's crazy. Okay, we've got some pikes. Northern pike. Northern. Um, there's some more fish. Okay, I'm looking at this one. It's the egg hatches. Wait, what are we looking at? Oh, the cod. Okay, the Atlantic cod. Okay. So the egg hatches in 10 to 40 days. That was, <laughs> it's kind of a big amount of time, actually. Okay, this is like a just hatched one, looks like. Larva at about two to three weeks. It's in the last stages. And then the young at four to six months. And then this is something about a green phase and a red phase. No idea what that means. <laughs> green phase and red. 
What else can I look at? Flatfish. This one's kind of cool looking. Like the color on that one. Um, Barracuda. Tigers of tropical seas. Oh. These people are freaking out. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Sailfish. Marlins. Striped marlin. And the white marlin. This one's weird looking. A look down. It's the adult. The young. Oh, it's a moonfish. Pilot fish. Green sunfish. Pumpkin seed. The bluegill. The. Uh, The lake that I've gone fishing in in Wisconsin has bluegills. That's the majority of what we catch in this. Spotted sunfish. That's a lot of them. Some crappies. Some crappies there too. Some bass. Surf fishing. Way to catch bass. So. Okay. What else do we got? Red snapper. Pork fish. Pork fish. There's a young pig fish. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. Young pig fish. This one, a sea raven. That's a little scary. Some lionfish. Ocean perch. There are lots of fish. Okay, just deep sea, deep sea fish. Mistaken for fish. There we go. Okay. Let me adjust this. Okay. So a dolphin is not a fish. Porpoise is not a fish. Starfish is not a fish. <laughs> Jellyfish is not a fish. Ribbon worm. Sea snake. And a black fish. Even though they have the word fish in their name. Other fish could be <laughs> often have the word fish as part of their name. The starfish has no backbone like a fish by stiff arms. Jellyfish also lack a backbone. Sea snakes are not fishes. Let's see. Fish book. It's kind of cool. Um, we'll do the mammals next. I have no idea where I got these books. They just were on my shelf. So looks like yeah, they're both golden guides. So they're from the same. Is this one also a golden guide? Fully illustrated. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So we've got Mammals of Yesterday. So I've got some extinct ones here. Saber Tooth. Have you seen Ice Age? The Giant Giant Ground Sloth. The Early Camel. Short Legged Rhinoceros. Long Horned Bison. Is that kind of cool? The First Mammals. Okay, so those are the ones we just looked at. There's a mole. of where in the United States they live. So if you're not in the United States, um, I don't know what to tell you. Arctic Shrew. Oh, here we go. There's little bats. Little brown bats resting. Aren't they cute? That's a little scary though. Okay. Um, the weasel family. Check out the weasel family. Okay. So we've got the sea otter and badgers. The river otter. Badger skunks. We've got spotted skunk, sh striped skunk, and hognip skunk. Okay. Weasel like mammals. Here we go. The wolverine. And then, what is that? Martin and Fisher. I have no idea what those are. The weasel, the black footed ferret, and the mink. Nest in hollow tree. Oh, that's kind of interesting. They're originally from this area. Now they live further north. Okay. What else do we got? Ferrets and minks. Here we go. We have foxes. Red and gray foxes. Foxes are cute. Black fox, cross fox, silver fox. Got the red fox over here. It's kind of like a chipmunk or something. Fox over here. Um, wow, they're all over the place. Oh, look at them living in the little, little hole down there. Um, oh, okay. We've got the cat family. Libyan cat. Let's see. So we've got the saber tooth cat. Ice Age. The lynx, these, those are so cute. Um, the cheetah and the lion. Over here we got the jaguar undi. And the jaguar over here, and the mountain lion. Is this the mountain lion? Mountain lions, yes. I think big cats are pretty cool. Oh! Seals and sea lions. Okay, let's look at this family tree. We've got the fur seal, the elephant seal. What is that? Eared seals? Earless seals. The walrus up here. And the harbor seal. And then we'll get one of these guys. They're cute. They're cute too. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we've got some rodents. It's a beaver. Here we go. Reproduction potential of a pair of field mice. Oh, wow. Number of field mice, 200. This all comes from one pair, right? Is this number of months? Oh, number of mice. And this is, the, yeah, one month. By four months, there's 200. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, look at the tiny. Look, the beaver is 30 inches, and the field mouse is tiny, 6 inches. Okay, so this is the primitive rodent. 
I have no idea how to say that. Pyramus, pyramids. Porcupines. Polodontia. Polodontia. We got beavers, jumping mice, thorough legs. Uh, or old world rats and mice. Voles, new world rats and mice. Squirrels, pocket gophers, kangaroo rats. Okay, so that's the rodent family. Look at all the different squirrels. This is very cute squirrel. A lot of bots of type of squirrels. Chickmunks. I love chickmunks. They're so cute. Um, more squirrels. Lots of squirrels. Here we go. Flying squirrels. I used to be obsessed with flying squirrels. I thought they were so cool. Well, I guess they really do more gliding than flying. They do not fly, but glide by extending their limbs and stretching the membrane between. They're almost entirely nocturnal. We're all learning things today. It looks like they're in the uh, Eastern United States. Okay. Gophers, look at those teeth. It's a little scary. Pocket mice. Lots of mice. Lots of mice. So many types of mice. Some the rabbit family. Pikas. Rock hairs. We don't have photo. There's hairs with their very long legs. And rabbits. I'm not entirely sure what the difference besides just their really long legs. So new there's a difference between newborns. A newborn rabbit. A newborn hair. Rabbits not have. The hairs are long laid high jumping, with the young being furred and with eyes open. Rabbits born naked and blind are short leg running species. Okay. Oh, they changed their color. Interesting. European hairs. Cottontails. Okay. Now we got hooved mammals. Let's see. Pre precary, perhaps? Even toed, odd toed, anosasaurus. Hippopotamus, camels, deer, chevrotain, chev chevrotain. What is this? Taper? Horses, cattle, pronghorn. So what is the difference between even toed and odd toed? Okay, let's take a look. Horns and antlers. Got the bison, the big horn, the pronghorn, the moose, and what are you? Caribou. Okay. They're very cute. Oh wow. Bison, elk, mountain goats, sea cows, <laughs> um, armadillos. Okay, now we've got whales and stuff. Because as we learned, these are not fish. Okay. Baleem whales and toothed. Whales. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the toothed whales. The white whale, the narwhal, the killer whale, the dolphin, pilot whale, porpoise, beaked whale, bottlenose, sperm whale. Okay, so those are the toothed whales. We got the gray whale on the side. We've got the finback whale. Humpback whale, blue whale. What is, is it? The blue whale? That's the largest whale, or the largest mammal in the world? It's one of the whales. I want to say it's the blue one. Oh, okay. Here we go. There's the difference between toothed and blue. They have teeth, <laughs> and 
They don't. It's kind of obvious. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it looks like it is the blue whale. That's the biggest blue whale compared to an elephant. Horse is a person compared to a blue whale. Wow, okay. Alright, so that's mammals for you. Learn a little bit about mammals. Um, I'm gonna wait to do insects at the end in case anybody is grossed out by insects. And hopefully you'll either be asleep or you can just stop watching <laughs> at the end. Okay, so let's go to the space one. Space. Looks like I have a few pages marked. No idea when I marked them. So that was probably years ago. Let's take a look. Space. Okay, let's see what which ones I've marked. A spaceship. That's pretty cool. What else? Okay, we've got the story of Earth. A billion years ago. Bombarded by comets and meteorites. 4.2-3.8 billion years ago. Bombardment slows, lava flows released by in, by the impacts cool and flowing across 200 million years ago. We've got the land masses. 90 million years ago, Pangaea has broken. Today. Um, that's today. 50 million years from now. The Atlantic widens, the Mediterranean vanishes as Africa and Europe join. Okay, interesting. Let's see what the next one is. The life cycle of a star. Let's see if I can zoom on myself. Okay. Born of a born in a nebula, a cloud of gas and dust start to collapse. Okay. Forty million years later. So it takes forty million years to go from nebula the star is fully formed and burning hydrogen for fuel perhaps with planets maybe then we've got that oh, here we go after another 11 billion years the star runs low on fuel it swells and cools into a red giant that starts to pulsate so it takes 40 million years to go from the to the star 11 billion years to go from a star to a red giant that's running out of fuel and then it explodes by the looks of it <laughs> that's a very cool artwork though okay 1.5 billion years later or is that from the nebula okay the pulsations grow stronger the bloated star shreds its outer layers and forms a planetary nebula back to being a nebula and then in less than 50,000 years, planetary nebula disperses into space. It leaves behind a shining, fading ember known as a white dwarf. Okay, so... Nebula, cloud of gas, to a star, to a... What is this? A red, red giant. To... Um, bloated star, planetary nebula. Um, to a white dwarf. Looks like a star. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Uh, journey to the moon. That's cool. Okay, where's number one? Number one. Okay. So we launch. Okay, launch. Number two. First stage of rocket drops off. Just using that part. Okay, where's number three? Three. Second stage drops off. Okay. Uh, number four. Here we go. Third stage repels Apollo toward the moon. Okay. Third stage shops. Okay. Um, what was that? Number five or number six? Six. Here we go. Command and service module orbits the moon, and then the lunar module lands on the moon. So it goes around and then it lands. All right. Lunar and command modules meet up. Okay. Number nine, lunar, lunar module is discarded. And then number ten, service module is discarded. 
Where is number 11? Command module's parachute opens and it lands in the ocean. Can we end right there? All right. Now we're at searching for life on the moon. Let's go these photos. That's kind of weird looking. Icy crust of Jupiter's moon. Evidence of early Martian life? Question mark. of Mars. Um, I think that's the last thing that's tagged. Let's, oh, here we go. Galaxy shapes. This is pretty. Okay, we've got the nearly perfect ring, followed by a polar ring galaxy. And a tightly wound, and then the Whirlpool Galaxy. This is a photo from the Hubble Space Telescope. Is that all of them? Oh! Galactic Collisions. Spinning sideways, two galaxies collide. That's kind of cool. What else? Kinds of galaxies. Inside the Milky Way. Here's the Milky Way. Spiral. Spirals and some all picture. Okay, what else is there in here? Some planets, comets. Pluto and beyond. Pluto's moon. Oh, here's Pluto. Okay, we've got all the planets. Saturn, Jupiter, asteroids, Mars. So on half of the moon. New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gib gibbous, 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 full moon, waning gibbous. Last quarter, Waning Crescent. New Moon. Okay, that's all the moons. Or the <laughs> phases of the moon. Okay, let's go the other way now. Inside the Milky Way. Space exploration. Living in space. Mars. There we go. Astronomy. Astronomy. Through the ages. There's um, Stonehenge and the Mayan Pyramids. And the Egyptian Pyramids. We've got the Zodiac over here. Ocean Constellations. Oh, this was the um, Earth being the center of the universe. Then we have the Sun, the center. So we have Earth and everything going around Earth. And then the Sun, everything going around the Sun. We got Satellites. Whoa. Mapping the stars. How 
do star charts. Star hockey. Finding North. First locate the Big Dipper in Ursa Major. Then draw an imaginary line from the end of the Bipper, the Dipper's Bowl to the Star Polaris. Northern Hemisphere. And we've got some of the um, constellations here. All the hemispheres here. Such terrace. It's Libra observing the sky. City lights. There's the sun. What else? Ooh. The northern lights here. It's pretty cool. Comets and meteors. Another shower. The planets. There's a nebula. here. The great. Oh, it's a super giant galaxy. And that's the end. So that was a very interesting book. Very cool space photos in there. Okay. Now for the last one. It's going to be the insects book. If you don't like insects, this part of the video. <laughs> there's, there's pretty butterflies, but there's also like beetles and probably ants and flies and stuff. Okay. So this is part with the the fish and the mammals book. Um, created by the same group. Okay, we've got another little family tree here. Ooh. Family tree. Incest ancestral insect over here. Got termites, earwigs, protura, grasshoppers, bugs, <laughs> bugs, mayflies, cicadas, caddis flies, dragonflies, moths and butterflies, flies, scorpion flies, bees, beetles. Some type of thing here. The silver fish. How it goes up. And then the cinch bug. And the house fly. Eggs, the larva. Papa, pupa. And the adult. Okay. Walking sticks. Very interesting. Some, I think you just call them leaf bugs, but Caddy did. Caddy did? Katie did? I'm not actually sure of the pronunciation of some of these. We got some crickets. Some crickets. Some cockroaches. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of those. 
Mantis. Mantis. That's kind of cool. He's not a praying mantis. Let's see. Grasshoppers. A line of grasshopper looks kind of cool. Let's see, he's got wings. Let's see what else we got. Grasshoppers, earwigs, earwigs are kind of creepy. Termites. Oh, look at the queen. The queen is massive. I'm not a fan of termites either. <laughs> um, tree hopper. Look at that. Tree hoppers. Okay. Leaf hoppers. Some cicadas. There was a bunch of cicadas this year. There was just a ton of them outside my door for like two weeks. There was just cicadas everywhere. The spittle bug. I've never heard of a spittle bug. Scale insects. Squash bugs. Milkweed. Cinch bugs. Dragonfly. And spot dragonfly. There is black wing dragon. Oh, damselfly. Not a dragon. Damselfly. What is the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly? Dragonfly is larger than damselflies. Rest with wings outstretched. And the damselfly rests with its wings folded. What else do we got? Mayflies, lace wings, ant lions, cocoons. Okay, here we go. We got butterflies. The monarch. This is pretty recognizable. Monarchs. Viceroy? So it looks very similar to mine. Okay. Banded purple. Red spotted purple. The buckeye. Look at the spots and wings. It's a bunch of them. This one. The things along the sides. It's pretty cool. A lot of them. Little wood. Common wood nymph. Here's some smaller ones. Coppers and blues. Look how tiny this one is. Um, bunch more. Swallowtail. Tiger swallowtail. Look at the little pinky things at the end of their wings. Is that? These lack the tail. Skippers. There's so many winged insects. Okay, here we go. We got moths now. Silk moths. Silk moth. Oh, look at this one. The Luna.
burn mosquitoes. We really don't like mosquitoes here. I'm not a fan of mosquitoes. Green flies. They are also very scary. <laughs> they just look scary. Oh, the horse fly. Those are big. Those are really big. 0.9 inches. Deer flies. These are big. Well, not as big as the horse fly. Okay, now we're in the beetles. of larvae. The larvae will eat caterpillars. So here's the larvae eating a caterpillar. Oh, the fireflies. Oh, I love fireflies. So it looks like fireflies are typically more south and east. Not really in this area. So I think fireflies are lightning bugs. We'll call them lightning bugs too. And we got the ladybugs. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Some more garden bugs. Cucumber beetles. Asparagus beetles. <laughs> what? Okay, we got water beetles. In the water. There's lots of beetles. Rhinoceros beetle. Dung beetles. What else do we got? Unicorn beetle. That's interesting. Um, stag beetle. It's kind of a recognized one. Oh, that one's weird looking. Oh, this is a very strange looking. What is that? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Very weird looking guy. Here's some ants. Cotton ants. We've got wasp. Ugh. Not wasp. Also not a big fan of wasps. <laughs> I don't think any bees. There's bees. I want to see the bees. Cicada killer. Jesus. Here's a cow killer wasp. That's terrible. Paper wasp. There's some hornets, yellow jacket. Okay, here we go. Here are the bees. I like bees. I'm still freaked out if one flies in my face though. Let's see. Bumblebee. Sweat bee. Leaf cutting bee over here. Honey bee. Flower bee. Um, is that all the bees? I guess that's all the bees. Whoa, this one's like furry. See that? Sheep kid. Pest of animals. Dog flea. Ew. Duck. Loose. Louse. Black carpet beetle. Oh no. Other common bugs. House fly. A German cockroach. American dog tick. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of the, the insect one. The butterflies were pretty though. It's pretty cool butterflies. Okay, so that's insects. And that's all the um, picture books I have. Well, there's probably more, but... We got mammals. We got fish. We gotta learn a lot about this animals. Cookies, definitely my favorite one. The space one is also very cool. There's some really cool space pictures. I like all the photos they had there at the end. And then we had all the cookies to get you all hungry. And wanting a cookie, wanting a sweet treat. Whoa. 
look at these mocha brownies with what is that walnuts some walnuts yeah walnuts mocha brownies Ooh. are hopefully you enjoyed looking at some pictures, flipping through some books, and I'll see you guys later.